Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on forming a quadratic equation from the area of a rectangle. So we've got this rectangle here, we've got a width of 2x plus 4 and a length of 9x. Remember with a rectangle the length is the longer side and the width is the shorter side. And we're told the area is 45 and we're going to show that using this information combined with the area that we can get this equation. Now the important part of the word show that is that it doesn't mean solve. Show that is not the same as solve. We're not asked to solve this equation. We're asked to use this information to somehow get, to show that we can get this equation. So let's do the first part. Well, it talks about the area of this rectangle. Now we know the area of the rectangle. It's just the width of the rectangle times the length of the rectangle. So, or length times width, if we do the 9x, the length, and we multiply it by the 2x plus 4. Now, rather than the time symbol, I'm just going to write brackets like this, because remember, when you put things next to each other in algebra, like this, it means times them together. So this means 9x times by 2x plus 4, and that will give you the area of the rectangle. 9x times 2x plus 4, length times width. Now, we're told the area is 45, so we can set this equal to 45. And now we've got our equation. All we need to do is gradually manipulate it until we get to this equation here. So let's just first expand it out, get everything out in the open. We're nine x times two x, nine times eight is 18, and x times x is x squared. We've also got nine x times four, nine times four is 36, so it's 36 x equal to 45. Now, can we see that everything has a common factor of nine? That's the nine times table, that's the nine times table, that's the nine times table. So I'm gonna divide both sides of the equation by nine. Then the 18x squared becomes 2x squared. 36 divided by 9 is 4, 4x. And the 45 divided by 9 is equal to 5. You might have spotted that we could have divided by 9 earlier when we, when we were at this stage before we expanded the brackets. Now we're nearly there. We've got this equation almost. We've got the 2x squared, haven't we? We've got this x term, but we want 0 on one side of the equation. So we don't want that 5 there. So all we need to do is the minus 5 from both sides of the equation. So on the left hand side, when we minus the five, we just whack it on the end because it doesn't collect with any of these other terms. And five minus five is zero and we're done because we've now got an equation in this form. We could solve this equation to find out x and we could work out what the x is in this diagram, but the question isn't requiring us to do it. It's just to show that we can get this equation in this form and that's what we've done. What about b? There's not a diagram this time. The width of a swimming pool is 15 metres shorter than the length, and you're also told that x is the length of the swimming pool. So if I do a rectangle, now the length is the longer side of the rectangle, and we're told that's x. So x is the longer side, and we're told the width is 15 metres shorter than the length. So what's 15 less than x, the length? Well, it's x minus 15. x minus 15 is 15 less than x because we're just subtracting 15 from x. And we're told that the area is 2860. So we do the same as we did before, just length times width or width times length. So length times by width, I'm going to use brackets again, is equal to the area of the rectangle, which we're told is 2860. And then we can just expand out the brackets again. So we get x squared minus 15x equals 2860 and we want to put the equation in this form x squared plus something x plus something equals zero we need zero on the right hand side so we're just going to subtract 2860 from both sides and that will give us x squared minus 15x minus 2860 is equal to zero and we are done